Hello and welcome to another piece in EMC Toolsite Operation Management Events View learning series. In this video segment, we are going to see how you can set different preferences on the events view. This is Akshat Nimbalkar, Lead Product Developer at VMC. We have seen so far the quick overview, events filters with the basic and advanced filter options, events action, and now we are going to see how the events preferences can be performed. Okay, so here is the box where I have logged in as an administrator. I have the default view for the events view. Now there are some user-based preferences what user can set. He can click on top left gear icon and a drawer opens with the list of all the preferences user can set. The first, if they want to have the confirmation dialog box coming for the different event operation what they are taking up. If they want the confirmation only for the close event, they can set it accordingly. If they want none, they can set it as well. Okay, the next section is how many maximum events the user want to see. There are three values available for users. One is 600, 800 and 1000 events. After this maximum value, if they scroll, user will see a message saying that you need to filter the events properly to view the relevant information. Okay, the third is number of events to download initially. When user scrolls over here and if it crosses a limit of 200, it again fetch the events from the server. That limit is set right now as 200. You can increase or decrease this limit to 200 or 300 based on your requirement. But as soon as you reach a certain limit which is 1800 or 600 as per your setting, no more events you can load over here. The next preference what user can set is to take the action, how many multiple events they can select. The maximum default is 100 right now, but if you want to change that default, you can change to 25, 50, 75, and 100, any of these values. By default, if you see the events view over here, the data get refreshed every two minutes is you can change this setting to one minute and till the 10 minute so that events will get refreshed based on your requirement. Okay, event notification is one of the feature where in case if, it, if you keep it on for all the new occurring events coming up, it will give you an indication over here saying that, okay, you got some new event. You may need to refresh the data. We are going to see in detail about the event notification in the later videos. You can change the internal names on the event attributes tooltips as well. Next is, do you want to see these icons or not? Or if you want to see the text-based values for the severity, priority, and the status icons, you can do that. So let's say I remove this option. I also want to see the row number, okay? And along with that, there is one more option of setting up the severity color. Let's say I want to see the severity color as a background. I save it. Now you see that there are many changes that we have done. One is the icons are gone. I see the text over here at all the places. And then I have also changed this color for each row. And third change what I did was I have select, I want to have the row number for this list. So these are a few event view preferences what you can do right now on the events view. Thank you for watching.